Hello everyone, this is Randy Wallace, broker in charge here at Keller Williams Innovate South in Myrtle Beach, and also uh, head of the Cana Group team here at Keller Williams. And I wanted to share with you today my thoughts about whether you should move to Myrtle Beach, in particular about what I love about Myrtle Beach. You see a lot of videos being put out there by other people and they're talking about you know, the pluses and minus, whatever, but I'm just going to share with you a little bit more personally about myself and what I love, and I hope you can relate to it. I grew up in the big city of Marion, South Carolina, about 45 miles that way, west, away from the beach, but I spent every summer of my life, at least a month or so of the summer, at the beach, and then when I after high school and college, I worked here every summer uh, after school, and I moved here after college and have been here ever since. Been in my same house for 40 years uh, here at the beach and I just love it. And I just wanna share some of those reasons why. And I hope you can relate to it. But, you know, one thing about Myrtle Beach is it's the beach. You know, I live at the beach. Uh, and I'm fortunate uh, that I live just, a, you know, half a block from the beach and I can walk there every morning. But even if I didn't, you know, I would have to come to the beach, whether it's on my way to work or at lunchtime. And I see people doing this all the time. They go take a lunch break, they grab their lunch, they ride to a street end at the beach and they have lunch watching the ocean. Or they take a walk early morning, lunchtime, afternoon, whatever it is. But if you live here, you wanna get on the beach sometime just to remind yourself that you live in this great place. Other thing about the beach is, uh, is the, just you know, being able to go to the beach, being able to, to spend weekends there, day long, an hour, a couple hours, whatever. And it makes people want to come see you. So I get to see a lot of my friends from college, from uh, high school, from past family members. They all want to come to the beach to visit. And that's a great benefit that I get to see them and enjoy them. Another thing is, you know, we have so much here now. I mean, it's uh, when I first came, uh, there were just Coquina Roads. The only paved highways were like Highway 17 itself and and the boulevard. The All the through streets were like Coquina Roads. Uh, there was no bypass. There was no 31, 22, whatever. Uh, but now that we have so many, you know, more people here, it's not a problem with traffic to me. I know what times to go. I know, you know, when certain roads are going to be busy, when they're not going to be busy, and I can get around pretty easily. And you learn that if you live here. But I'm thankful for all the restaurants, all the shopping, all the hospitals. We, you know, we have great hospital growth here. We have, you know, Grand Strand, you know, McLeod, Tidewater, Conway. We have a great several four great hospital systems here and it's continuing to grow plenty of care uh, plenty of options for entertainment restaurants and i'm not talking about just the the big touristy restaurants you might say i'm talking about little holes in the wall there's still people that have little lunch spots little breakfast spots and you learn those again when you're here you know you learn your favorite coffee shop whatever it may be, and there are lots of options. If you want to get away from it and you want to live away from the beach and out in, in the country, you can do that. There's still property available for buying a couple acres, five acres, 10 acres. It can be pricey, of course, the closer you get to the beach, but, uh, but you can find places you can build whatever you want. Uh, build a thousand square foot uh, small home on a 10 acre lot if you'd like. So there are plenty of options. And the towns inland are great. Conway in particular is, is my favorite inland town in terms of you know just all that it has. The downtown area is perfect. The riverfront area is, uh, is great to visit and lots of great people in our county seat of Conway. Schools, we have great schools and not, I'm not talking about just the public schools. I, I've been involved with the public schools pretty much all my life here. All four of my kids went to school here Got a great education. I enjoy being involved with the schools. I served as PTO president and and involved with their programs and athletic programs growing up and as they grew up. And it was a, a great experience. I've been involved with some of the Horry County, the business cabinet for Horry County Schools. 
and they, they do a great job. We have a lot of great teachers, great leaders, great administrators here who have led us to a, a great school system, and, and I can't name them all, but, uh, but I think you would find something you like. We also have private schools, some great private schools here options if the public school is not what you'd like to pursue. So plenty of options educationally. College, we have Ori Georgia Sound Tech and Coastal Carolina, and that's not just for the students. I'm talking about for the community. They have great sporting events, great cultural events, and our area has great culture, uh, cultural events with, uh, with orchestra, with music, with art, uh, a lot of special festivities. I mean, and one of the greatest things of all is Brook Green Gardens down at uh, Merle's Inlet. You can't find a more peaceful, beautiful, um, warm place that can uh, just relax you and thrill you at the same time. Beautiful trees, beautiful oak trees, beautiful marsh area, uh, a little petting zoo for the kids and, and beautiful artwork, statues that is just a, a place that take you away to anywhere in the world. It, it ranks with anywhere in the world as far as its beauty and uh, the special events that people have there, weddings that people have there, it's just amazing. Uh, the marsh, the rivers, the intercoastal waterway, uh, we have a great water life. You know, you want to get on a boat anywhere to go fishing, to go skiing, uh, to, just to go boat riding. Uh, I mean, people don't realize what a great river and, and marsh and just what a great boating area that we have here. It's just, just amazing. Other thing is, you know, that I love is just the community, the people, obviously. That's, that's what makes it. And you will find just some wonderful people here. And I would encourage you, if you come and you don't know anybody, you know, what, what do you do? Well, you, you get in and do the same thing I did. I got involved with different organizations, with my church, with, um, you know, different charities here. There's some great volunteer opportunities. We have a very active United Way. We have a very active Habitat for Humanity. We have uh, a great YMCA that is growing by leaps and bounds. And I'm happy to say that I'm on the YMCA board right now and have been for a number of years. And it's just amazing uh, the opportunities that we have, the programs that we have, and opportunities to grow programs uh, as we discover needs in our community. So uh, at the bottom line is that the people are wonderful and you can meet those people if you choose to do so. And that's it. It's a choice. It's your choice if you want to come here, obviously. It's your choice what you do when you come here. But if you want to meet people uh, and, and really get into the, the culture, I uh, encourage you to get involved with some volunteer activities. And if you can't find any, you call me here at Keller Williams and I'll help you get connected because there are plenty of opportunities. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to share one story with you and leave it at that. Now I'm going to end my little, uh, not tirade, my compliments for uh, encouragement for, for the community we live in. I'm going to end it with a little story. And it goes like this, that there was a gas station on the edge of a a town uh, um, and there was a tenant there. This is back in the days when they actually pumped your gas and a family pulled up a couple, actually just a couple and they uh, had their car loaded. It looked like obviously they were moving and they asked the uh, gas attendant while they was pumping the gas, they said, what kind of town is this? Uh, what kind of, what are the people like? And the gas attendant said, uh, well, tell me what, where you came from. Uh, what were the people like there? And the couple said, oh, they were terrible. They weren't friendly. They weren't very nice. They uh, didn't talk to each other and, and just, you know, wasn't a good place. And the attendant said, oh, you'll probably find the people the same way here, unfortunately. And so they got in their car and they took off. A little while later, another couple pulled up with the car loaded with stuff. And they got out and asked the attendant the same question. They said, what, what kind of place is this? We're trying to decide where to move to. And says, what do you, you know, what are the people like here in town? And the attendant said, well, what are the people like back home? Where, where are you coming from? And they said, oh, they were wonderful. We loved our neighbors. We loved our town, our community, our church. We, you know, we just, we hated to leave, but we had a job opportunity. 
uh, that, uh, that took us elsewhere and we're thinking about moving here, this would be a great place for us to be, to set up our new business. And uh, so, but we, we hate to leave, but we love the people back there. And the attendant looked at him and said, oh, you'll find the people the same way here. Very nice. You'll love it. And that's the way it is for you. You come here and you have the attitude, you're going to make some friends. You're going to enjoy this place. There are other people here who love this place. You find those people, you get involved, you make those friends, and you will love it too. I do, and I hope you'll come join us. Thanks. This is Randy Wallace from Keller Williams Innovate South in Myrtle Beach. Forgot to point out that I am in an empty office space right now at our Keller Williams office here in Myrtle Beach. And uh, so the Christmas tree back here, it is August. Uh, we just have it stored in this ex uh, unused office space right now. And also I wanted to share with you that this is Pebble Beach shirt here. That doesn't mean I'm a good golfer. I'm a terrible golfer. Uh, but I got this shirt when visiting the golf course, uh, not even playing the golf course uh, a few years back. And uh, so that's another good, great reason to come to Myrtle Beach and come live in Myrtle Beach is we have great golf courses around, whether you're good or not.